coming up, we set the record straight about Ronnie Wood, a bit of this. And Wassie's big comeback. It's all in the showbiz hot five, so don't go anywhere. At five, the credit crunch strikes again. It's not just our wallets looking a little bit thin these days. They're also keeping a check on the purse strings in TV land too. Episodes of police drama The Bill are being slashed from two to just one a week. What are the next? Three eps instead of four of EastEnders? In at four, the celebrity Big Brother lot aren't the only ones going out with a bang. It's also the final of Orange Unsigned Act, presented by this man, Alex Zane. Scarlet Harlots, Tommy Riley and Hit Parade are the last ones standing. And you may not know this, but Alex doesn't just do the presenting, he's also pretty good at impressions. <sighs> Tommy Riley. I think Tommy's going to do it. I think because of the way he is and his demeanour and his innocence and his sort of, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, oh. Oh no, I've, uh, I've got through to the final. Oh, um, give me a call. You've got a phone, don't you? Turn it on. Um. Next up at three, Nelly and JT have already had the Timberland treatment. Well, now it's the turn off, Chris Cornell. teamed up with the super producer on new album Scream, which comes out March 9th. Guess that means line dancing's back in fashion. In at two, whatever you might have heard about Ronnie Wood, don't believe the hype. The 61-year-old Rolling Stone is not about to have a baby. He's denied claims that his 20-year-old girlfriend, Ekaterina Ivanova, is pregnant after she was seen wearing lots of floaty dresses. Honestly, people, she was probably just having a fat belly day. And my top story at one. How do you get back into the swing of things after a slap on the wrist and a suspension? Well, if you're Jonathan Ross, you crack a joke about it. The presenter returned to his BBC chat show for the first time after the Andrew Sachs phone scandal and introduced himself by saying, so, where were we? He then went on to make a big apology and guest Stephen Fry said he was happy to get him off the naughty step. Tom Cruise was also there and was on top form. Now I know it's Friday, but how sad am I? I might just stay in to watch it. Catch you later.